Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and this is my preview for Monday Night Football. Arsenal playing host to Manchester City at the Emirates Stadium and it really should be a great game. Two main title contenders going head to head and what more could you expect from a game like this? Alexis Sanchez on the brink of returning to Arsenal, Sergio Aguero poised to return to Manchester City. This game's got absolutely everything about it and I'm thoroughly looking forward to seeing how we will get on against what is regarded as the title favourite and you could say rightly so with the abundance of talent that Manchester City have brought in over the summer. Rightly so, they do deserve to be credited in a way as uh, main title contenders, but we can do something about that and I do firmly believe with a win over Manchester City in this game, we could you know, turn over the odds a little bit and become title favourites ourselves. Now they have got Kevin De Bruyne who they brought in over the summer, but as well as that, David Silva has imminently returned from injury. As well as that, they've got Raheem Sterling who they also brought in over the summer and Sergio Aguero, as I previously mentioned, is returning to the squad. And it really is a question of how Matthew Flamini in central defensive midfield and Per Mertzak at centre-back will be able to cope against that absolute array of talented footballers. Now, it is going to be an interesting one, but I do think that if we're able to hold our own, then the talent that we've got going forward should speak for itself. City did lose 2-0 away from home with all that talent on display. So what's to say that we can't beat them with the squad that we've got? We should be perfectly capable of getting a couple of goals past this very unconvincing City defence. As well as that, they've only scored seven goals away from home. And that centre-back partnership of Mangala and Otamendi has been far from convincing. So I definitely think we can score a couple of goals past this lot, especially if Alexis Sanchez is to have some impact within the squad. But... I mean, how much would you change about this Arsenal side? Because Joel Campbell has been absolutely on fire recently. Theo Walcott's been doing a good job out on the wing and you don't want to remove Olivier Giroud from that centre forwards, but you don't want to damage his confidence because he is thriving at the moment in that centre forward position. I don't want to see him dropped from the squad. And there's not a lot I would change about this Arsenal team. The one thing that I would possibly, possibly change is Gabriel coming in for Per Merzak, which, you know, is a bit of a, it is a disputable one, I guess you could say. But for me... Uh, Gabriel would be a lot better at coping with someone with the movement of Sergio Aguero because he's a player that has a very low center of gravity. Gabriel, I think, has a lot more pace about him than Mertzsacker. I'm not thinking that. I know pretty much everyone and their dog knows that Gabriel has a lot more pace than Mertzsacker. And I think that Gabriel will complement Koscielny really well in this game. And in my opinion, those two should be starting alongside each other. Fullbacks wouldn't change a thing about that. And I mean, pretty much that is the only change I'd make going into this game. So my Arsenal team in full would be Petr Cech in goal, Hector Bellerin, Gabriel Koscielny, Monreal, Flamini, Ramsey, Joel Campbell, Musa Ozil, Fiel Walcott and Olivier Giroud up top. Really exciting team and if we've got players like Oxley chamberlain and Alexis Sanchez to bring off the bench, then we can hit City where it really hurts. But coming up against our main title contender as well as, I mean, you've got to regard Leicester in that category as well at this stage in the season. They've done remarkably well to still be where they are. I mean, it's just a question of time as to, you know, whether they'll slip up or not. But us, City and Leicester, you could say, on a big three at this moment in time. And if we're, to able, if we're able to open up a bit of a gap between us and City, that'll put us in a fantastic position heading into these games against the like of Southampton, Bournemouth, etc., where I would anticipate that we'd pick up the three points. But nothing's a given in this league. It'd be great if we could win this game. And I'm going for a 2-1 win to the Arsenal. I do think Mertzsacker will play this game, which you know, could cost us at times. I'm hoping Flamini puts a decent performance. I'm hoping he holds his own against the likes of David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne. But it should be a fantastic spectacle. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some fantastic football being played at the Emirates Stadium on Monday night. Anyway, guys, get your thoughts on the game in the comments box below. Please do let me know your team lineups. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you're new to the channel. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll be speaking to you very soon. Don't forget for Christmas, you can get hoodies just like this at AFTVstore.com.